So let's test our call agent. So let me fill up some info. Car loan, 26 April, and let's get a call. I got the call. Yes. आपकी कार लोन की ईएमआई भुगतान की अंतिम तिथि सभी अप्रैल 2023 को तय सुनिश्चित करें कि आपका भुगतान समय तक ओके थैंक यू एआई वॉइस एजेंट्स आर राइजिंग एंड टुडे वी सेट अप एआई वॉइस एजेंट इन जस्ट 5 मिनट्स फ्रॉम स्टार्ट टू फिनिश यस फ्रॉम गेटिंग अ ब्रांड न्यू फोन नंबर टू सेटिंग अप आवर बैच आउटबोर्न कॉल शॉप वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन फोन नंबर फ्रॉम इंडिया एज यू नो इन इंडिया गेटिंग अ केवाई वर्चुअल फोन नंबर इज अ टेडियस प्रोसेस विद केवाईसी एंड ऑल But surprisingly, today I found a service which can get you a, a phone number from India in just a minute, so that you can start using it instantly. And the use case we will be doing is simple: it's payment and renewal reminders, which is a typical common use case for any service, for banking, insurance, uh, NBFC, or just for any service. So let's get started. So we are using the service Bolna dot AI. So just visit the website, scroll it down a little, and click on visit dashboard. Log in or create your account, and now this is your agent setup page. So click on buy phone number. Again, buy phone number, and now select the country. So let me select the India and search for available phone numbers. So you can choose the number you want. Just select any number you want and purchase it. So it's basically a five dollar a month. So let me do the payment. I believe I will get a number. Yes. So payment is successful. Let me see if I got my number or not. Wow. So yes. So my number is ready to use. Uh, okay. So this number is from Plio. Surprisingly, if you try to get this number directly from Plio, it requires KYC. But I'm as I'm using the Bolna service, I do not require KYC. It's a strange word. So let me just test uh, the call. Ki if I can get the call from this number, so place the call. Yes, I got the call. I got the call. I got the call. Hello from Bolna. Hello, are you an AI agent? What? Yes, I am an AI agent here to help you. What do you need assistance with? Hello, are you there? Okay. So yes, as our mobile okay, uh, phone number is ready, now let's set up the agent. So let's just set up our agent. So click on add agent. Here you can see there are some predefined templates. You can those are ready to use. Let's say you want to set a, set this up for incoming calls. So you can within one click you can just set the customer service agent, which will handle the customer inquiries, resolve issues, and provides product and services information from uh, your catalog. Then you can also set this up as a front desk front desk receptionist which will greet and assist the customers, uh, schedules the appointments and manages most of your front desk operations like a real person. Then of course you can set this up for your outgoing call. So these are our main campaigns will be running. So like you can set this up for sharing the news and updates and announcements to your users, uh, your colleagues, uh, your employees or customers. You can also set this up to collect the survey or feedback information from thousands of people. Then you can also use this for screening the job applicants also for screening the leads, like uh, use this as a lead qualifications. So most of your, your leads will be filtered out. Then you can use this uh, sales agent. So these are some predefined templates, which you can set up instantly. And also there are some pre built agents as well. Like if you're a doctor, then you can also within one click, you can set this up for doctor's appointments so that it's a receptionist, which will schedule the appointments and collect the patient information. You can set this up for your beauty parlor, your salon, uh, booking. And so. Uh, it will collect the uh, customer information and schedule the appointments. 
and it can be as a real estate sales agent uh, which will act as a lead qualification service or share your project or prospect information with the customers also you can use this for uh, order taking service for your restaurant as well and also you can simply start with building it from scratch so we can set this up uh, from start to finish understanding what option we are having agent as EMI Payment reminder so you can select uh, your agent language so Tamil, Hindi, Telugu uh, lot many native languages are supported uh, you can uh, if any language is missing you can add it from add languages uh, uh, I haven't found Marathi language in there hope uh, Bola, yeah, I will soon include the Marathi language because it is the main language of Mumbai and you are missing out on it so you can select the language uh, I will select Hindi for now you can select the voice you can also add more voice, voices from here as well so I will select the voice here you can see the approximate price per minute over here so like for transcriber, real LM, voice or platform so it's a community price of coming around 0 0.06 per minute yeah so this is I think it's affordable okay so in uh, agent uh, that's our welcome message Ki, uh, hello user so I can specify this like this hello user uh, I am calling from ABCD bank about your payment reminder this will be your welcome message so so you can add a prompt over here okay you are a helpful agent uh, you are reminding customer about EMI payment or next day I will add this variable like one type on date payment date okay so these are some variables right so uh, when you automate this through uh, batch job or API from your existing ERP you can simply pass on these variables like loan type is uh, let's say car loan payment date is say 8 April right uh, then username is Amit. So this way you can automate this. So this is my welcome message. This is my prompt. Uh, I select the language and voice. Next is setting up the LLM. So just keep it uh, at default if you are not sure about anything. But if you want more clarity on voices, like for Hebrew language, uh, you know, there's uh, there may be some clarity in understanding what AI uh, agent is saying. Uh, you may listen some robotic voices as well. So here you can select multiple providers and uh, there are available AI models to use for you try it and whatever you feel most suitable or you feel most uh, pleasant in listening and talking to uh, choose door choose that one uh, you can also select data source like use your internal API CSV or a public Google sheet so whenever you receive an incoming call uh, your, AI, your AI agent will be uh, well aware of who is calling and whatever what are his details you can also add knowledge base over here as well right from here so your AI agent will have a detailed knowledge of his task so you can add it over here you can also add the FAQs as well so that it can learn and uh, answer the questions of uh, your customers or users the next part is transcriber transcriber is basically a uh, speech to text it converts audio for audio to the text for the AI agent to process so just keep it as default or you can just change it if you uh, want to try it uh, try multiple then this is voice so this is the main thing uh, here uh, you can use uh, multiple providers but 11 labs is, is the most popular one right now and uh, you can select the voice to use for right you can also set up like if user is not responding then it will ask periodic, periodically like hey are you still there like that one then these are the call settings so as we have already got our number from PO so it has those settings are automatically selected over here so it has some call hang up more modes some call termination modes so when your call should be terminated then there are tools so this is the most important section so from here you can connect this agent for on-demand information from your existing system for example if your uh, agent is talking about the subscriptions and if user asks oh, what are my current subscriptions so your agent will call these APIs get that information and say uh, talk it to customer so here you can integrate multiple APIs 
uh, connected to your existing ERP and you can share all the information with your customer. So it is called as tools for custom functions. And of course, right then you will get the analytics, uh, you will get summary of the call, you will get recording of, of the call and you can also send this data back to your ERP after call finishes by using this QA book. So setting up the agent is very simple. You can set this up in just quick one or two minutes. And once it's ready, you can uh, have your test call with this get call from this agent or you can have a demo session with this web call. Now, next part. Okay. We want to uh, upload our Excel sheets and let agents call one by one to all the contact numbers in the Excel sheet. So for that, simply click on the patches. Uh, select your agent. I uh, select this my new agent. And here you can just simply click on upload batch and just upload your CSV file with just this contact uh, number field is mandatory. Of course, you need a mobile number to call or phone number to call the uh, users. So upload, ex upload your Excel sheet, select your number from where that call will be placed and just see how those calls are uh, happening uh, with logs. You can see the history over here, like this one. So now you can see how much, uh, this is the summary of the call. You can see the recording, transcripts, uh, any additional raw data, like uh, the recording, you can see. I want the call. Hello from Boma. Hello. Are you an AI again? Correct. Yes, I am an AI agent here to help you. What do you need at this time, Boya? So you can have audio recording of all the calls and you will get this data uh, with all the information of all the calls. So thank you. Uh, thank you for watching till the end. If you have any queries, uh, any doubts to set up your AI voice agents, just uh, let me know. Uh, you can contact me with my content information or just comment on the video. I will uh, try to assist you as much as possible. Thank you.